after fast moving wildfires now forcing evacuations to the north and south of Sacramento. Good evening, I'm Sam Shane. And I'm Adrian Moore. We begin with the Ponderosa fire burning in Butte County this evening. That fire has grown to 600 acres since starting this afternoon. Mandatory evacuation orders are now in place, but it's unclear how many, if any, structures have been destroyed. The flames are burning near Ponderosa Way and Lumpkin Road. That's near the community of Feather Falls. CBS 13's Macy Jenkins is joining us now live with more. Firefighters from all across Northern California are here battling this Ponderosa fire. Cal Fire says it's hard to estimate how many structures have been affected, but say several homes have already been destroyed. More than 60 fire engines winding through Lumpkin Road hours after locals scrambled to get away from the flames. I was worried a lot. Yeah, yeah quite a bit when it came up over that hill. It was like. Uh, Oh, I don't know, probably three, four hundred foot wall of flames. Gary Honroth says he watched his back porch catch fire in four different places, and after 27 years in this house, no fire had ever scared him until now. I've seen them everywhere, but I've never seen them in here. And I told him, if we ever have a fire in this canyon, it's going to be bad. He says it's because the brush in the canyon behind his home has never been cleared, and without a change in the wind and firefighters on his property, he says he wouldn't be standing here right now. The guys are here. They they did a fantastic job. They really did. They saved this place. Cal Fire yes, Deputy did. Chief Scott McLean says he doesn't know what sparked the fire, but it spread very quickly. You have the pines, you have the oaks, you have a lot of grass and brush, which is very receptive to fire right now. Today's flames come just seven weeks after the wall fire destroyed thousands of acres here in Butte County. And locals tell me their biggest concern is seeing that destruction happen all over again. People losing homes it is a horrible, horrible tragedy. But over at Peppercorn Acres, Judy and Paul Rasmussen are staying put for now. I guess you just kind of wait until they come back and say, you got to go. Uh. With 17 chickens, three dogs, and a house full of memories, she's hoping firefighters get a handle on the flame so she doesn't have to go anywhere. Just the thought of going to a shelter and sleeping on a cot and trying to put my three dogs somewhere it was really scary to me. A shelter for those displaced has opened at the Church of the Nazarene, and a shelter for small animals is now open at Old County Hospital. Macy, thanks. Firefighters are also battling a fast moving fire south of Yosemite National Park this evening. It started just before 1 this afternoon in Fish Camp near Highway 41 and Mill Canyon Road. Parts of Highway 41 are now closed in the area. Evacuations have been ordered for the entire Fish Camp and Sugar Pine communities. An evacuation shelter has been opened at Oakhurst Community Center. The fire has grown to more than 1,000 acres with no containment at this hour. To Texas now 